Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I hope you guys had some great holidays and got to spend lots of time with your friends and family and whoever you celebrate with. I know we definitely enjoyed celebrating and spending tons of time with our loved ones, but I know I, for one, am so ready to slow back down and stop the hustle and bustle of the holidays and just really reflect back on last year, refresh and restart. Like I mentioned in last week's video, I am doing two back-to-back -back marathons so you not only end your year feeling positive and productive but you also start the new year feeling positive and productive as well with a nice clean home you can watch this video on your TV or your phone and you don't have to worry about finding something else to watch or listen to and not only do you get over two hours of cleaning motivation from today's video but you also get to catch up on my most recent and most popular videos from the end of last year this marathon is an unedited compilation of four separate videos like I said from the end of last year this way you can kind of see where we ended last year and we can start fresh again next week since it is the beginning of a new year I would love to know what your new year's resolution is or what they are if you have multiple so let me know in the comments below what your goals or plans are for the new year I hope today's cleaning video gives you tons of motivation to get done whatever is on your to-do list today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and happy cleaning Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through and cleaning my whole house besides my master bedroom because that room needs some work. I really want to declutter some clothes. So we'll be doing that next week. But besides that, we'll be going through every other room in my home and just cleaning up everything. As you can see here, it is a complete disaster and really just needs to be straightened up. We will not be doing any kind of deep cleaning in this video, just changing sheets, cleaning everything up, putting everything away, wiping down surfaces and things like that just to get my house back in order. If you're new to my channel, welcome here. My name is Becky. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones. My son Noah turns four next month in October. My daughter Hazel just turned two and my son Wyatt is three months old. I'm so happy to have you here watching this video. If you enjoy real life mom life cleaning, this is definitely the channel for you and I hope you subscribe if you aren't already. As you can see, we're starting in my kids room today, which I normally don't start in. Normally I start in my kids kitchen or my master bedroom, but as you already know, we are not cleaning my master bedroom in today's video. And I started cleaning at 10 a.m. and really needed to get my kids room clean before my daughter took a nap. She usually naps around 12 or 1 o'clock and I just wanted to make sure, like I said, I had time to clean this room and the nursery before I put her down for her nap. My goal was to get the entire house cleaned in one day and I got every room cleaned besides the kitchen. It did leak over until the next morning when I finished up the kitchen. Kitchen. You'll see that at the end of this video, but regardless, I still got so much done in one day. It was unbelievable. I hope today's video motivates and inspires you to be productive throughout your day as well. When there is more in life that I Something I'm really excited for in the coming weeks is changing up and making over this room. It's killing me inside to see it like this, and it is not how I had envisioned at all. I'm going to be getting my kids, who are two and almost four, like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to be getting them bunk beds, and I'm super excited to open up this space, take the crib down, move the rocking chair out, and just change the space entirely. I'll be painting, putting up some nice tapestries. I'm just so excited for what's coming in this space. I also wanted to show you guys these cute little plush toys. They're called Feeling Spots. It comes with a book and I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos have little ones as well and sometimes it's really hard for little ones to navigate through their feelings and this book and these little spots really help with that. We have been really loving them if we have big feelings in the house. My son will use his feeling detector and go pick out a feeling to let us know how he is feeling without having to use his words and tell us. Sometimes 
sometimes when there's a lot going on in their head and they're just really upset, sad, or mad, or anxious, or whatever it may be, it's just really hard for kids to express that. And this book and these feeling spots help so much. If you guys have little ones, I would highly suggest this. It's been really nice because he can put a feeling spot outside of his door if he wants to be in his room or wherever he wants to be. That's usually what happens. He'll go to his room and let's say he's angry, he'll put anger outside of his door. And then we'll come in there and talk to him and say, you know, I see you were angry. Can I help you with something? Can you tell me what's wrong? And we just really work through the problem and then he ends up changing his feeling spot to happiness and love and it just feels so good to be able to communicate like that. I know as a parent sometimes it can be frustrating and difficult to not really understand why they are doing what they're doing but I just wanted to give you guys a suggestion if this interests you. It's helped us a lot and I'll be the first to say that being a mom is really difficult and if I can find anything that makes it easier I'm gonna tell you guys and just share my thoughts. As you can see we're in the nursery now just picking everything up, putting it back where it's supposed to be, putting more wipes and diapers away, then folding and putting away some of Wyatt's clothes. Now we are folding and putting away some of Wyatt's clothes. As you can see, I have a box there that I'm also putting clothes into. All the clothes going in that box are too small for him. They're either newborn or three months. He's mostly in six month clothing right now. You'll see that I use empty boxes for clothes a lot in my videos because it's so much easier and cheaper than going out and buying a bunch of bins. My kids never stop growing and I'm always packing clothes away and pulling them back out every single time we have a baby. So I've just been putting them in boxes boxes from now on. Frankly, it's free and it's very easy and then I just pull them out and wash them. As I'm folding burp cloths, Hazel is helping and this was so funny to me. I wanted her to keep helping but she just kind of rolls it in a ball. So I didn't think she would notice but as I was folding the last one, I handed her one that she had already folded and she knew right away. It was so funny to me. You can see right here, I hand her it and she looks at me like, what the heck? I already folded this and then throws it on the ground. Oh my gosh, I thought that was too funny.
I know I've shown you guys how I hang up Wyatt's clothes a few times, but I have so many new subscribers and I'm so happy to have you guys. But a lot of you guys are moms, whether you are a first time mom, a pregnant mom, or a veteran mom with six or seven kids. I didn't learn this trick until Wyatt, which is my third baby, and I thought it was so helpful when hanging up his clothes. Put the onesies upside down on the hanger and snap them. It's a space saver and a time saver. I never would have thought to do this had somebody not commented on one of my videos suggesting it so thank you to that person because I loved this idea To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now won't you meet The next room we're cleaning is my main bathroom. As you can see, the kids took a bath and there's a bunch of toys in the bathtub. We're not gonna be doing any deep cleaning like I mentioned in the beginning. We're just going to be picking everything up, putting it back where it goes, wiping down all of the surfaces, cleaning the toilet, and just doing some general cleaning of the space, making sure everything is nice and put back where it's supposed to be. Swept away all the fun of yesterdays, but I'm gonna hold it together. This ain't forever. Need a shot and then a beat somewhere to let up some steam. I'm not the one to say never, never say never. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now, won't you meet high? I always get so many questions and comments about my booty call sign. I actually made it myself with my Cricut. I just bought the blank wooden sign on Amazon for about $6 and put the wording on it myself. Like I said with my Cricut, it was super easy. So obviously this is not something you can buy, but you could totally get a Cricut for yourself and try it out. These things are amazing.
As you can see, I didn't wear any gloves or anything while cleaning the toilet, and I know I say it a lot of the times in my video, but I wanted to actually show you guys this time when I'm done cleaning, especially dirtier places like my toilet without wearing any gloves, I always wash my hands afterwards because that's gross. Nobody wants to go touching other surfaces after doing that and holding my little ones and things like that, so I always wash my hands when I'm done cleaning. At the beginning of today's video, I showed you guys how messy my hallway was, and it really just needed to be picked up real quick. It gets like this super quick. We like to just throw our laundry in the hallway and then we'll put it in the laundry room afterwards. We keep the door closed so that's just easier for us to just throw it all in the hallway and then put it in the laundry room at once. As I'm saying that out loud that also just sounds like laziness like why not just open the door and put it in the hamper but we don't. Maybe we will eventually but I don't know it's just habit for us so I'm just picking up the clothes in the hallway putting them in the laundry room. We also had some bags in the hallway that needed to be put away. Our attic is right above our hallway so two of those bags were going up in the attic and one of them was being donated. The next area in my home that we're going to clean is my kids' play area. It is out of control right now and we're going to whip it into shape real quick. We're finishing up the play area vacuuming and little Hazel was trying to make me get her little baby toesies. She is seriously the cutest. I don't know if you guys do this as well, you'll have to let me know in the comments, but do you guys ever take the time and listen to your kids run around, especially if they're little like mine are? Listening to the little pitter patter of their feet is just so adorable to me because I know they are not going to stay little forever and I'm going to miss them running around and listening to their little feet running around so much. As you can see, we've now moved into my dining area and we're cleaning off my kitchen table. I'm sure you guys saw me vacuum my kitchen table in my last video, so now I'm going to be also using my e-cloth to push all of the crumbs on the floor to then vacuum them all up, and of course I'll be wiping down my kitchen table afterwards. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy.
One of the main reasons my house was a complete disaster is because we lost power for about two or three days. We only had a small generator generating enough power to charge our phones and maybe turn on the TV and different things like that, but it wasn't a lot. And the rest of my house just totally fell apart. We didn't have any water, so I couldn't do my dishes. It was just completely chaotic. Plus, it was raining, so having three kids in the house without power was a lot. And needless to say, we had a very difficult two or three days, but we got through it. Of course, we could have left the house and done different activities, but we always have to come back home to no power and pretty much nothing to do. We did play a couple board games, and luckily my father-in-law lives close. He had a whole house generator, so Noah and Hazel went over there for a little while to play. But as you can imagine, it was just completely chaotic. Now, we are just so happy and grateful to have our power back on and be able to clean this messy house. Something special, I'm sure. When you're next to me Before ending the night, we're going to be vacuuming my whole main living area and then moving into my kitchen the next morning. We are now in my kitchen. I'm starting by putting a few things away, then washing my dishes and loading my dishwasher. I get so many questions about why I rinse off and wash my dishes before loading them in the dishwasher. Some of you have said that you do it as well. I don't know. I guess I'm just weird. That's totally fine. I like to rinse my dishes to make sure that nothing is crusted on, and then my dishwasher does the washing and sanitizing of them. That's just how I feel about it. You are totally welcome to feel any way you want about doing the dishes and do them your own way. Like I said, this is just how I prefer to do my dishes. At this point, I have fit everything I possibly can in my dishwasher. I'm going to add a dishwasher pod and start the dishwasher. There are still some pots and pans in the sink that I will load in the dishwasher once it's done and unloaded, but for now they're just going to stay in the sink. I'm going to wipe down the counters, pick up a couple extra things, wipe down my stove, and finish up in the kitchen. I left this part in here because I thought it was so funny. My husband often doesn't realize that my camera is set up when I'm cleaning, so sometimes he'll walk right by or stand right in front of it, black the view at this time he decided to say hi and give you guys a thumbs up
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It gave you motivation and inspiration to be productive throughout your day. If you did enjoy it, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my kids' brand new playroom. I put those two first clips in here so you could see what the room looked like before we transformed it into a playroom. It used to be my four-month-old son's nursery. I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a four-month-old, and we decided to put all three kids in one bedroom and move all of their toys into a playroom instead of having them scattered all over the house in a play area, their bedroom, the nursery, this helps to contain the mess of toys in one room in one area of my home which makes it so much easier to manage the mess and keep my home clutter free. If you've been following along on my channel you know that this whole process has taken me about three or four weeks. Between rearranging the furniture, making over the kids room, and now cleaning, decluttering, and organizing these toys, it has taken quite some time to get to where we are but I am loving the results so far. I love my kids room. If you guys haven't checked out that video of me making over the kids room, go check it out. I'll link it in the description below for you. It came out so beautifully. I couldn't be happier with it. If you are new here and this is your very first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones. Like I said, my son Noah is four, my daughter Hazel is two, and my son Wyatt is four months old. On my channel, I make real life mom life cleaning videos. As you can imagine, life is pretty chaotic around here and I think my videos are very relatable and personable and my house is always a disaster. You can definitely count on some major motivation and inspiration to make you have a positive, productive day. If you like those types of videos, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, the very first thing we're doing in today's video is just making sure everything is cleaned up in this playroom. It's really hard for me to declutter and organize in a messy space, even though it seems kind of ridiculous because you're going to end up taking everything out anyway. I just like to take things out a little bit at a time. For example, the first thing we'll be going through is this huge stack of books. We just have so many many and I know we have some duplicates and some that the kids never read so we will be donating some of these books. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you It struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me the reason these books are all on the ground is because I recently got rid of the kids' bookshelf. If you didn't see my last video, I actually got rid of it because it was very unsturdy and it just felt very unsafe. We definitely need a more sturdy bookshelf for this room, especially considering the amount of books my kids have. So I got rid of the old bookshelf and I have to look for a new one that will work for all of these books. If you guys know of a beautiful bookshelf, let me know in the comments below. I do think I want a white one again just because white goes with every Thing, and I do already have some wood tones in here and I just think that would look really nice. Jason. 
Did you guys have a favorite book growing up? My favorite book growing up was always Fox and Socks. Let me know in the comments below if you did and what it was. I didn't want to get rid of too many books because I love books and I feel like they are great for kids to have and just sit down and look through even if they can't read yet and I love reading to my kids at night. I'm only getting rid of the ones that are either duplicates, maybe there is something wrong with them, they're broken or ripped or unrepairable or my kids just never read them. There aren't many but I do have a few that I want to donate. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me shiver, your yeah. hands on myself, I keep pulling the trigger. All right, this very thing for people like them. Oh, no, no. When I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, whirling high up in the sky. We are going to start sorting, organizing, and decluttering these toys, going through every box and bin in this space to get rid of as many toys as possible. In my experience, kids definitely play better when they have a little bit less. Less is more to a kid because I know even when I go into a store or somewhere, if things are cluttered and there's just so much to choose, you just feel overwhelmed and that's how kids feel with too many toys. So the more you can minimize, the better off they will be when they play. The first basket of toys we went through were Wyatt's toys or just baby toys, even toys that we have had over the years for Noah and Hazel. I got rid of a few and kept a few. As you know, babies don't play all of the time. They just like to look at things. So we did keep some blocks and different toys that I know that Noah and Hazel liked as they got a little bit older. But we also got rid of the things that I know they never played with and don't need. Next, we are dumping out and going through all of the remaining toys in every bin and basket just in one general area because I I did not have these sorted out in any way whatsoever, so they are all going to go in one pile and just be sorted as we go through them. Here's an overview of all of the toys that were in the larger baskets or around that area. These are not the toys in the cube organizers because those toys are kind of sorted. I wanted to keep them that way and just go through those one at a time. I miss you, miss you, take you 
off. I came in way too strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now. I've lost you. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radar now. Found myself in between the lines. Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no zipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my brain. You'll notice as we go through the toys, my kids are very involved and I wanted them involved because I explained to them exactly what we were doing and they were totally fine with it. They were actually helping decide what we wanted to keep and what we didn't need anymore so we could donate. Don't get me wrong, it was extremely hectic having two toddlers in a room where I'm trying to go through toys and donate some and keep others and throw others in the garbage that were broken or whatever, but I really thought it was necessary for them to be involved and know that their toys were going to a good place. Trying not to see it Need some bliss in the turbulence I'm praying on the weekdays Drowning in the weekend I will periodically stop and just show you guys how I've sorted everything or organized as we go along. So I wanted to show you guys these first two piles. We are keeping the first pile a little bit bigger, just things that need to be put in the toy baskets. The second pile is things that need to be sorted out further and put into miscellaneous bins and things like that. And then up against the wall is everything so far to be donated.
Alright, we are stopping again to show you guys how everything looks sorted out completely. This is everything from, like I said, the big bins sorted out into different categories so that they can be put back into their appropriate baskets or wherever their proper place is. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break What? No room. No room? Uh-huh. I love you. Yeah. You're so cute. Well, mommy, died at you? I'm not going to try to get in there, sweetie. <laughs> All of these small miscellaneous toys on the ground my kids do play with. They just don't have a home right now, so I'm going to put them all into one basket. And whenever they are looking for something or need something that's small, we know it's in this spot for right now. The next thing I'm going to do is start putting these larger toys into these big baskets, separating them between Noah and Hazel's toys. Of course, they can always play with each other's toys, but it's just nice to be separated between a boy and girl. you've been down thinking about him again i know that your heart's been broken you should try and let it go and start being after putting everything away in the larger toy baskets, we're going to take the pile of stuff so far that we have to donate and start putting it into bags so that we can make some room and start going through the bins in the cube organizer. Here's a little glimpse of everything that we're donating so far right before I take it out to the car. I 
I had every intention of hanging these in Noah's room. I think he got them for his second birthday, so at this point it's been like two years and I still have not done anything with them. As cute as they are, I realized at this point I'm probably not going to do anything with them, so I am going to donate them, but I first wanted to ask you guys if you want these, I would definitely mail them to you. If this is something you want, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to pick somebody and send them to you. We have gone through a lot so far so I wanted to show you guys what the room looks like right now and then we are going to start sorting and organizing everything that's left in the cube organizer bins. There's not a ton that we are getting rid of in these baskets, just a few toys here and there. Maybe they're broken or don't work anymore. Whatever the case may be, maybe they don't play with them as much. But the toys in the baskets in the cube organizer are the toys that are played with most often. And I just wanted to sort and go through any that really need to be discarded or they're not played with anymore and they need to be donated. Every day we do this love for life You got a smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love
Like I said, we didn't get rid of too much in the baskets that are in the cube organizer, but we got a full grocery bag, which I say is pretty good. I also decided instead of putting any costumes in this plastic storage container, I'm actually going to put it in an empty cube that I forgot was empty because we had put some toys into Wyatt's basket and Hazel's basket. We're going to finish up in this space vacuuming, and then I'm going to rearrange the furniture a little bit. I don't think it's exactly how I want it to be. I think I might move the nugget couch underneath the window. I'm not exactly sure how I want everything. I just want it to look nice and very simple. Let me know what you guys think about the furniture arrangement in the comments below when I'm done rearranging it. Like I said, I don't love it this way, and I don't really like the arrangement that I did. So just let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I don't I'm feeling way too low to start this night by here is the finished playroom, completely cleaned, decluttered, and organized. I am so happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I'm not too sure about the furniture arrangement. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and where you think things should go. I also think I need a different piece of wall decor. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was motivational and inspirational for you to have a positive, productive day. If you did enjoy this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stepping out, it's Friday night, how I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle, and my friends are on the way. You got that good, good vibe, I want to spend some time back here with you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a complete disaster clean with me. As you can see, we're starting in my master bedroom. It is a total mess in here and it's time to clean it up. I've been focusing a lot on other areas of my home lately and my master bedroom has definitely been a bit lower on the priority list, but it's time to straighten this area up. As with the rest of my house, you will see in just a little bit here, it is just as messy. In my last three videos, they were all about rearranging the kids' furniture, decluttering and organizing our new playroom and completely making over my kids we'll call it a sleep room I put all three of my children in one room and moved all of their toys into the other room I was just tired of having toys all over my home in their bedrooms in my living room kitchen you name it toys were like everywhere in my entire house and to have them contained into one area is so nice if you guys want to check out those videos I will link them below in the description but that is why every other room in my house has fallen behind because I've been so focused on that project and those rooms for probably the last three or four weeks and now it's just time to focus on other areas we finally have that project done if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so happy to have you my name's Becky I'm a wife and mom to three little ones my son Noah is four my daughter Hazel is two and my son Wyatt is five months old or rather I should say he's almost five months old I don't want to rush the time he'll be five months old November 27th so if you like real life mom life clean 
cleaning, decluttering, and organizing with some makeovers here and there, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. One thing you'll notice on my channel is my house is always messy and that's just my reality. I try my very, very best to keep up with it, but I also really try to not beat myself up about it because I know this season in life for me is very, very busy with three little ones. And if your house looks like mine, I totally understand and I hope this video gives you tons of motivation and inspiration to just keep going and know that you got this. A lot of times as a stay-at-home mom, all of these tasks can feel incredibly repetitive, but I hope my videos help you and motivate you to push forward and have a positive, productive day. If you've been following along and you're like, oh my gosh, she still has that mattress up against her wall, yes, I absolutely do. I have not gotten to it. Like I said, I have had a lot of other higher priorities and I will get to it soon. Like I said, I just had other higher priorities. This mattress has one tiny little stain on it that I want to use my carpet cleaner to get out. Other than that, it's brand new and we'll probably be donating it. We did get a sleep number, which we absolutely love. This is totally off topic, but I just wanted to show you this deodorant that I've been using. It's called Piper Y. I think that's how you say it. I am not a fan of toxic deodorant and this is the best one that I have found so far. I have tried countless other brands. Some of them have stained my clothes. Some of them just don't work at all. And this is definitely the best one that I've found. It smells great and it works great. All right, we're gonna continue cleaning my master bedroom for just a bit. We're gonna put the clothes away, change the sheets, wipe down all of the surfaces and vacuum in here and then move on. Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. As a breastfeeding, co-sleeping mom, I feel like I'm changing my sheets all of the time because breast milk gets everywhere during those nighttime feeds. Wyatt and I just calmly go back to sleep and then when he's done, of course he unlatches and then milk gets everywhere. But that's exactly why we have a mattress protector for breast milk or any spills that my other kids might make. You never know what's going to happen. A question I get asked a lot is how many sets of sheets do I have? And I only have two sets of sheets. One of them is gray and one of them is white. The reason being is because when I pull one off, I just throw it right in the washer and then I put the other one on and I just don't see any reason for any more than two sets of sheets that would definitely take up more space than is needed. Let me know in the comments how many sets of sheets do you guys have? 
Since I have two standard size pillows and two king size pillows, the pillowcases on my standard size pillows tend to be a little bit long, and so many of you have left me comments that I should tuck in the end of them, so I decided to give it a try this time, and although it does make the bed look nicer when it's made, it really wasn't worth it to me, it just added unnecessary extra time making my bed. How could somebody be with someone else if you can't be by yourself? I got my problems Lately I've been fading out Holding out Waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes As you can see, it's dark outside while I'm finishing up my master bedroom, so I am going to turn down the bed. I personally love to sleep in a made bed. It just feels so fresh and so clean, especially if you take a shower at night, you get all nice and clean yourself and jump in those nice clean sheets. It just feels so good. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same. It is now a new day because that was just all I could do that day. I was so exhausted, so I'm getting up, making my bed, wiping down all of the surfaces in my master bedroom, and finishing up by vacuuming. thinking about him again I know that your heart's been broken you should try and let it go and stop being yourself you, you. you can put on your dress we can play your favorite song and I will take care of you care of you care of you this is what we need this is Don't need to be ashamed Everyone's got their hearts broken sometime Let's go out and lose our minds Forget all about him You, you You can put on your dress Dance to your favorite song Everybody will sing along, sing along, sing along So put your hands Good work. 
I started with an empty vacuum and this is how full it is after vacuuming only my master bedroom. Now moving into my hallway, this always happens in my hallway mainly because we just put things out in the hallway from different rooms, things that need to go in the attic go in the hallway, and then we just move everything all at once. It's definitely a bad habit and I do not like when things are in the hallway. It feels so cluttered and crowded. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up right now, put everything back where it's supposed to go, and put anything up in the attic that needs to go up there, and I'm going to try my best not to do this anymore. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove. I got this cute personalized acrylic calendar from Etsy not too long ago and I finally am going to hang it up. My husband is going to put the things in the wall to hang it because I am just not good at that stuff so he's gonna go ahead and do that for me and I will finish it off on video. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my I love how this calendar looks in my hallway and it's definitely keeping my family more organized and taking all of the thoughts out of my head. I feel like I'm constantly remembering appointments, any school events for Noah, just really anything that's going on in our life has been in my head. I just kind of remember when it's supposed to happen, but to have it finally on the wall, somewhere where my whole family can be aware of what's going on, is so convenient and a weight lifted off of my shoulders. I also got a box of chalk markers to go with this acrylic calendar. I will put both links in my description for you guys. As we move into the kitchen, you can see this room is a disaster as well. Like I mentioned in the beginning, every single space we go in today is going to be a complete disaster, but we're going to go ahead and tackle this right now, get all of my dishes put away from the dishwasher, clear off and clean off the counters, then do the dishes, make sure all of the surfaces are clean again, clean the sink, and finish up in here by vacuuming because all of those crumbs will be on the floor. Then continuing around my home, first showing you exactly how messy it is with a few before shots. I've been getting a lot of questions about the cleaner I use in my amber spray bottle as well as the essential oils I have on my wall. I use Young Living's household cleaner for literally everything and I love adding different essential oils. You'll see lots of diffusers around my home and I always have the link in the description if you want to buy any Young Living products using my member number. I've been a member of Young Living since 2017 but you'll notice I don't really talk about it very much because I joined because I personally love all of their products, their oils, and everything they have and I understand that not everybody does. I definitely don't want to be a pusher if that is not something you want to get into. But for myself and my family, we really enjoy our oils because we like to live chemical free or at least as chemical free as possible. And Young Living has been amazing for that reason. Another thing you can do if you want to try their products and you don't want to buy directly from Young Living, you can always contact me on Instagram at Becky R. Moss. Just send me a quick message. Tell me what you want. I will put the order in with my monthly order and then go ahead and send it out to you directly and you never know I might even include a goodie in there about you I like you're crazy for saying I should slow down but maybe I'm escaping the love we found there's something about you something about you I like about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and Say the obvious Nobody loves 
I do have a question for you guys. You can see that this pan is pretty dirty right now. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it the best I can and I'll show you at the end. Although it is clean, it's still really badly stained. If you guys have any suggestions for how to clean this out so there are no more brown spots and staining, let me know in the comments below. It is a copper pan and I've heard of people using ketchup. I've personally never tried it before. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You can see I'm wearing my Graco baby carrier here without carrying Wyatt. That's because he started to get fussy and then settled down and I just left it on knowing I'd have to pick him up. And then in a little bit here you'll see that I am wearing him. Like I said, I think I left it on because I knew I'd have to pick him up or maybe I just forgot I had it on.
I have no words for how completely disastrous and messy my house was. Once it was clean, I was so happy to finally have everything back in its place. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise. My family is playing and doing a bunch of stuff. But I wanted to come on here and say this is day two of cleaning, and I'm going to clean um, like I have never cleaned before. I'm going to actually take everything in my home, in the main area of my home, that I don't like where it is and I'm gonna pile it all in the middle and then I'm gonna put it away. I'm only doing it that way because I feel like I just can't catch up with this area of my home right now. So I'm just gonna take all of the clutter that I don't want and pile it in the middle, sort it out and put it away. A lot of times when a space is really, really messy, this is how I do things because it just makes it easier for me to see everything in one area and sort it out into different rooms or different categories and then put it away and back in its home as we go. So the way I'm going to do this is start in this one area and kind of move around my home and just like I said, pile everything right in the middle, then sort and organize it and put it back where it goes. I want you, how could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough, I've lost you As you know, it is now the middle of November. When I started filming this video, it was closer to the beginning of November and I decided it was time to take my fall slash Halloween pillow covers off and replace them with Christmas pillow covers. Some of you who follow me over on Instagram at Becky R. Moss know that I really don't care for clean and decorate videos because I don't consider myself a very good decorator. So you will see me add pops of Christmas here and there, but for the most part, I will be doing it off camera with my kids and getting them involved and excited for Christmas. 
Keep pretending that it's pretend. Sinking down low, the further we go, the better it feels. We keep on driving like there's no end. Keep on wishing for a better day. Sinking down low. After we take these fall decorations down and clean off this table, we'll be moving into the little foyer area by my back door, putting all of the shoes away and just putting things back where they go. I noticed that some of the shoes we had were either ripped or really worn out and needed to be tossed. Some of them I could just pack away for our next baby. We don't obviously know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So I always pack away both and let me just be clear, I am not pregnant and we do not plan on having another baby for another probably a year, year and a half and it will probably be our last one. All of our kids are exactly 22 months apart right now and that would be cool to keep that going. It doesn't always work out like that and life is a little bit overwhelming right now so we may wait a little bit longer but I just think it would be cool to have all of our kids exactly 22 months apart. You can see now I've started sorting the pile in the middle of my house. I'm sorting it into different categories, different rooms, just whatever makes sense to me. Then once the pile is completely sorted and organized we'll start putting things back in their place. This pile is a pile of garbage, so I'm putting it in a garbage bag, and the next pile that I pick up is all of my husband's stuff that goes in the garage, so I'll be putting that in a small plastic bag and just setting it in the garage for him, for him to go through because that is not my space. <laughs> and I am certainly not saying it's not my space because I'm not allowed in it, I'm saying it's not my space because I don't want to be in it and I don't want to have to put his things away. It 
It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And they turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. This fall decor on the ground are the last things to put away from this pile. Then we will be wiping down all of the surfaces and making sure everything is nice and clean. The very last thing we're doing in today's video is vacuuming this entire living space, just making sure the floor is nice and clean. So you guys know if you've been here for a while, my husband doesn't really care to be on camera, but I wanted to leave this little blooper in here because I think it's so funny. I usually cut these things out, but I just think it's funny because he doesn't even realize that my camera is set up. He'll walk right in front of the shot and just kind of go, oh my gosh, and walk the other way. It's so funny to me. I did get something stuck in my vacuum, so I couldn't show you the end result of how much I vacuumed around my house. I had to empty it right here, and I wanted to show you guys, since I showed you the empty vacuum, how much I have gotten so far, before emptying it and continuing. So we are not quite finished yet after vacuuming. I honestly totally forgot and I don't want to go redo my voiceover, but I did want to hang up some sweatshirts and coats and different things in my closet by my back door foyer area. So that is the last thing we will be doing in today's video. Also, here is Hazel running back and forth. Why can't I have the energy of a two-year-old? <laughs>
Here are those Christmas pillowcases I was talking about at the beginning of today's video. We're going to put these on the larger pillows. I think these are 20 by 20s. And then this space will finally be completely cleaned, decluttered, and organized. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you tons of motivation and inspiration to have a positive and productive day. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing an extreme clean with me. We are starting in the playroom, picking everything up. This playroom becomes so messy so quickly, as you could imagine. So we're gonna pick everything up, put everything back in its place, vacuum, then pull out my carpet cleaner and carpet clean these floors. It's really important to me that this floor is super clean since it is the playroom and my kids play in here all of the time. They do end up spilling stuff and I just wanna make it as clean as possible of an environment for them. A couple other things we'll be doing in today's video is taking out all of the clothes that are too small for Wyatt that are still in the closet and packing them away, as well as going out into the main area of my home, picking everything up, putting everything back where it goes, packing away some Christmas decorations. I do decorate with my kids so you guys don't see that part of it, but I do have some cleaning up to do after decorating with them. Some of the Christmas decorations I'm packing away I'm just not using this year. I still have a few to put up around the house, but I really didn't want my house looking too cluttered this year. I feel like every time I decorate for a holiday. Everything looks very cluttered, so I'm really trying to keep it to a minimum this year, while still being super fun and exciting for the kids. The last thing we'll be doing in today's video is building a brand new essential oil shelf that I just got and doing my best attempt at building it, I should say. I am terrible at building things for some reason. I don't know if any of you guys remember me trying to build the bunk bed and I built it backwards and my husband had to take the whole thing apart. Okay, the same thing happened with this oil shelf. I'm not even kidding. I looked at him when we picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But we ended up having to take the whole thing apart again and he just rebuilt it for me I'm so thankful for him But at this point I think I'm going to stop building stuff and just leave it up to him because I swear I mess up every single time Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome I'm a wife and mom to three little ones four and under my son Noah is four My daughter Hazel is two and my son Wyatt is just over five months old on my channel I do all sorts of real life mom life relatable cleaning cooking just lifestyle in general. Mostly cleaning motivation because as a stay-at-home mom, who doesn't need some motivation to get up and be productive for their day? I hope when you come to my channel, you feel positive and productive, encouraged and supported to have a great day. And since I post my videos on Sunday, hopefully a great start to your week as well. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below how your day is going.
At this point, everything in the playroom has been picked up and put in its place. Now I'm going to start taking some furniture out so we can get ready to vacuum, then clean the carpet. We barely started on every turn. Keep moving further. And all of my broken bones meant with your before we start vacuuming this room, I wanted to deep clean my Dyson Outsize. I was looking at it and it just looks totally gross and I felt like it wasn't working as well as it could be and you guys will see how much stuff I get out of this vacuum and how clean it looks when I'm all done. What a difference it made. If you haven't cleaned your cleaning tools in a while, here is your reminder to go ahead and clean those cleaning tools. This vacuum was actually super easy to clean. I've been putting it off for a while because I didn't think it would be easy to clean, but it definitely was. And I couldn't believe how much like lint I got out of this part of the vacuum. It was so much, no wonder it was making a funny noise. After cleaning the vacuum, putting it back together was super easy and I'm so happy to finally have this done. It's now working good as new and I wanted to show you everything that came out of the vacuum. I picked up all the big pieces but vacuumed up everything else and like I said, it works perfectly now. Hold up just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself, yeah. Been losing my focus like a thousand times before can't take this anymore cuz i've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion been waiting way too long oh yeah waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions i was out waiting for some Here's everything in the vacuum after vacuuming the playroom. Now I'm going to get out my carpet cleaner, fill it up with vinegar and water. I'm using vinegar and water instead of the cleaner it comes with because the last time I had Stanley Steamer come over, they said that the cleaner it comes with, the Bissell carpet cleaner, I'm not sure which one I have, but all of them leave a residue on the carpet that actually collects dirt that makes it more dirty and has to be cleaned more often and instead to use vinegar and water. This is my second time doing this and as expected, it doesn't work as good as the cleaner to get 
stains out, but it still works amazing to clean the carpet. Another alternative they gave was to carpet clean with the carpet cleaner it comes with, the Bissell carpet cleaner or whatever kind of carpet cleaner you have, and then rinse it with a vinegar water solution so that it doesn't leave any residue behind, but it still gets the stains out. I will probably try that next time I do this. The only thing is that is double the work because you're carpet cleaning with the carpet cleaner solution, then carpet cleaning a second time with vinegar and water. So it does take double the amount of time and it's double the amount of work. You guys can see that even though I didn't use the shampoo the carpet cleaner comes with and the stains didn't come up, it still did a great job deep cleaning my carpet. A while ago when I was carpet cleaning, somebody commented that I should clean out my carpet cleaner while it's still wet instead of waiting until it dries and trying to scrape things out and I cannot say thank you enough. What a great idea. You guys can see how easy my carpet cleaner was to clean. All I had to do was run it under some water and give it a little shake and everything came out of it. I never claimed to be like an expert cleaner or anything so I really appreciate when you guys leave comments with tips and tricks for me to try out and then if those tips and tricks work great, I of course love sharing them with you guys and I love trying new cleaning tools and all of the above because I am all for making life easier. Hey guys, it's day two of cleaning and we're gonna kind of stay in the playroom for a little while. Last night my kids came in here after the carpet dried and totally made a mess, so we're just gonna kind of put it back together. And then I also want to go through Wyatt's clothes in the closet. Most of them in there are too small for him, so I do wanna get those packed away and put new ones in there. The rest of the closet is just gonna have to wait. It's a mess, and then we're gonna move out there. I also am gonna share with you guys a little Etsy haul of a bunch of sweatshirts I got. I am obsessed with sweatshirts right now, and they have the cutest ones on Etsy, so I wanted to share those with you guys, and I'll link them all in the description for you guys when I go through them they are all so cute and I love supporting small businesses so if you guys are looking for cute sweatshirts definitely check those out and support small businesses for example this one I'm wearing right now it goes with so many different things because of the lettering and I just love it they're so comfortable I used to buy sweatshirts from Target and Old Navy and they don't even compare to the ones I bought on Etsy they're anywhere from like I'd say $23 to around $40 but they are so worth it and like I said you're supporting small businesses they're handmade most of them and they're just super cute and super comfortable so like I said I will link those in the description for you guys and then now we're gonna finish up cleaning up this playroom again <laughs>
Playroom is clean for the second time and now I'm going to go through all of Wyatt's old clothes that don't fit him any longer and pack them away. I ended up taking almost every single item out of his closet and I do have a few new items to put in there but they are being washed first. And then of course I have clothes from when Noah was younger so we're going to go ahead and pull those out in another video. But for now I'm just going to get these clothes packed away. We keep on riding on the freeway, keep pretending that it's pretend. All of those clothes are packed away and I wanted to put a couple cute little Christmas decorations in the playroom for the kids. Smile. Put the tree back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, silly. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you, pretty girl. I love her. The playroom is finally totally cleaned. Now we are going to move out into the main area of my home. First, I'm going to show you a little overview of how things look messy, and then we're going to get started cleaning this disaster up. As I mentioned, I like decorating with my kids. I'm really not a fan of clean and decorate with me's, so I like to do it with my kids and get them involved, but it always ends up being a huge disaster. And I do still have a couple decorations to put out, but for now I'm going to put them back in this bin just to get this area picked up and back to looking presentable.
I got this really cute sign at Hobby Lobby last year, and when I packed away my Christmas decorations, this was right on top of everything. And unfortunately, a mouse got to the string. It used to be three Christmas trees hanging across the top. I am so upset about it. I will probably try to fix it by like putting the trees on there or gluing them. I'm not really sure exactly. Maybe I'll cricket something on there. But I loved this sign, and I'm so sad that it got ruined. Alright guys, we're going to do that quick sweatshirt haul that I was talking about a little bit ago. I have quite a few here, so don't judge me. I've become a little bit obsessed, but I think I am done buying for the season. Um, this is the first one. A lot of them either say coffee or mama because that just defines my life. <laughs> So you guys saw this one earlier, super cute, navy blue. I think all of these, they have them in multiple different colors. This is just what I chose, and all of these sweatshirts are a medium for me. I like my sweatshirts very baggy. They're like pretty big on me, so if you like your sweatshirts to like fit you true to size, maybe get your true size. Like I said, I like mine a little bit bigger, so I tend to order a size up. I'm normally a size small. So this was the first one, and the next one, like I said, a lot of them either say coffee or mama. This one, I actually just got it today. This is the last one that I think I have in the mail. So super cute, Heather Gray, but first coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, okay. <laughs> This one is kind of the same thing, but it's in a light pink, and I got a lot of messages about this one over on Instagram. I love this one. It's super comfortable. You can see it kind of has like leopard print in one of them. I just am so obsessed with sweatshirts. So I'm really loving this winter. This is a um, holiday sweatshirt here, running on coffee, chaos, and Christmas cheer definitely what I'm doing around here. <laughs> this also defines me, always cold, because I am always cold, so sweatshirts and coffee and all of it just suits me perfectly. I'm not one to get like all dolled up, so I just throw on either some sweats, some leggings, a sweatshirt, and call it a day. That's how I look pretty much every day. Though I do have some t-shirts in here, like this one. Mama Needs Coffee, super really like soft material. I love this shirt. Some of these I haven't worn yet. Some of them you have probably seen me in. I wanted to wait until I received all of them to do this little haul for you guys so that I wasn't doing it just like sporadically. You can see them all at one time. So this one, I absolutely love this one. I'm really liking this navy blue on me. Obviously you can tell by my hair. <laughs> And then I have this t-shirt. Super cute, soft, just like the other one. This is definitely a holiday one. Different little Christmas trees. I got a lot of questions about this one over on Instagram as well. I have linked a few of these on Instagram, but not all of them because I didn't have them all yet. So. This one is not from Etsy, it's from Amazon, but it's still super cute and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's definitely not as comfy as the rest of them. Honestly, I think it's because I got it on Amazon and the Etsy ones are just such great quality. So this one, mom mode, it's kind of like a P 
peach or like a coral color. This one is more of a um, fall Halloween one, but you have probably seen me wear it too. I wanted to share it because I got this one on Etsy as well and super comfortable for, like I said, holidays, Halloween, fall. That one was super comfortable. I probably will be packing that one away until next year because I'm not going to wear pumpkins around Christmas time. <laughs> And then I got this one here. Like I said, there are a lot of them and don't judge me because I've become obsessed. Just know that every one of these that I have bought, I actually discarded or donated like two or three things from my closet. So I brought something new in and I took old things out so that I wasn't like overcrowding the space and making more clutter for my house because we all know I don't need that. Anyway, this one looks just like the t-shirt I showed you a little bit ago. Oh, I just want to point out too, I like these ones that have like the different color words in them and things like that. Let me find another one. So like the Christmas tree one, it has, or even the one I'm wearing. <laughs> Let's just use that one. So this one has like different colored words and I have lots of like, these are like a maroon color, I think. I have lots of different colored leggings and sweatpants and they just go great together. So I never have a problem with matching any of these sweatshirts. Um, like this one, I have lots of maroon, brown. I don't think I have any blue leggings, but I do have green, orange, and like these are my joggers from Old Navy and they go really well with it. So the next one, Mama Life. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that this suits me extremely well. All of my Mom Life cleaning videos, it's just total Mom Life around here with three little ones at four and under. It's just chaos. But here is the last one. I love this one. I've worn it, I don't know, a lot since I've gotten it but it just says mama, 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 because that's what my kids say all the time. And again, with like all of the different colors, I probably have leggings or joggers in all of these different colors. I'm not sure about the blue though. So this one, I absolutely love. Just throw on a sweatshirt, some leggings or joggers, my Ugg boots, pretty basic, coffee in hand, but that's the haul. I will link all of the sweatshirts below in the description. I hope you guys like that. If you did or you wanna see more hauls, I tend to um, buy a lot lately. And <laughs> like I said, usually when I bring something in, I take something out, donate it, or whatever the case may be. But let me know if you guys wanna see more hauls in the comments below or cooking. We're gonna get back to cleaning. I actually just have a couple more things I wanna do. I wanna take apart the rocker for Wyatt. Sorry, my furnace just kicked down, it's really loud. And then I have a new essential oil shelf that I want to build for my bedroom. I'm hoping it's going to be enough room for all of my oils. I may need to order a second one, but we're gonna go ahead and do those last few things and call it a day. While I was filming that sweatshirt haul, my husband had all three kids in the playroom, so I was kind of rushing through it. And as soon as I was done, they were just not having any more. So I'm finishing up today's video the next morning, taking apart Wyatt's swing, he really doesn't use it anymore, then trying my best to put an essential oil shelf together. I know I'm putting the swing in a garbage bag. It looks like I'm throwing it away. I am definitely not throwing it away. I'm just putting it in here so we can pack it up in our attic and it doesn't get dusty or dirty.
At this point, you guys can probably tell I'm building this wrong because the bar is on the side that faces the wall. I, of course, didn't realize this and just kept going, putting the next shelf and the next shelf on, and then finally I was like, I don't want to do this anymore and asked my husband to help. He just picked up where I left off and continued to build it without really realizing anything, and as soon as we picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Then I ended up taking it completely apart and didn't trust myself to rebuild it, so my husband rebuilt it for me. I am so thankful for him and we're gonna go ahead and put this in my master bedroom. While we were finishing up building this, Hazel was trying to help and Wyatt was in his little saucer just being cute sitting there. I know I get a lot of questions about where my kids are and they're always around somewhere. But that is all for today's video. I hope you guys loved it and it gave you tons of motivation. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. I just wanna get it